Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. So this week, as you can see, I decided to go with a pretty much just a purple look. It's not something that I've really done before, just a solely purple eye. And I wanted to have a bit of a play around, do a cut crease, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Mm. Um, if you wanna, <laughs> dork. If you wanna see how I did this in the products that I use, Please feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support. Um, for those of you who are lurking and just checking things out, um, hi, <laughs> my name's Peter. I am doing this to break up the boredom, 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 and do something a bit different and just to get myself out there and get, just have a bit of fun, really. Um, yeah, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Otherwise, have a good week, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome back, guys. Um, okay, so this week, well, as normal, you've seen how this all turns out. Um, this week I'm going in with a bit of an idea as to what I want to do, but not a massive one. I'm just going to play around with some purples because I figure I've not done a full singular purple eye. Um, and I want to do one. So I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I figure I'm gonna go in with the Crush Cosmetics palette. This one is the 35P. Um, if I can open up the palette, there's a mix of purples here. Um, and I honestly don't think I've ever really used the purples out of this or out of the majority of my palettes. So hmm, let's give that a go. I am quickly going to go and prime my lids and I'll be back shortly. Right, so that's the lid done. I just went in with the Smashbox, there it is. Smashbox 24 hour photo finish um, shadow eye primer. I don't mind it, I think it's quite a, quite a good primer but then again it is the only primer that I have at the moment so yeah, it does the trick. Um, to begin with, I want to go into the crease with blush from the Mellow Cosmetics uh, Sinopia palette, which is just this one here. Um, just on a large fluffy brush, just to start giving the crease. I'll have myself organized for one of these videos eventually, but I'm guessing it's probably not going to be soon. <laughs> So what's everyone been up to? Been keeping happy, sane and, and healthy one hopes. I'm literally just working off my lap. I should have a table in front of me, but my setup's really not the greatest, so it does the trick for now. All right, so that is the transition time. I am going to go open the door quickly because it's getting very warm in here and I'll be back shortly. And so I'm back. I realized I couldn't have the door open because there's still a lot of noise coming from the street. <laughs> um, okay, so I am going to go in with, I'm gonna go in with this purple and probably mix a little bit of, get the angles right, this um, bone white in with it as well, just to lighten it a little bit. See how that works. Mm. 
because a lot of the other purples in this are metallic. You know, I see all of these makeup YouTubers who talk while they're doing their their face and doing their eyes, and I just can't do that. I keep forgetting to talk. Um, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> There we go, not talking again. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much doing what I want. I think I'm going to go in, oh crap, I think I'm going to go in with a cut crease. Just because, why not, I've not done one for a while. And once again, why not? So, <clears throat> I re-watched a comedy series on Amazon Prime the other day called Fleabag. It's a British comedy series and it's so good. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend tracking it down and watching it. A really good series. Funny as hell. Okay. Hot. I also need song recommendations to add into a dry playlist. So I do, I do playlists for when I'm in the car because it's just easier rather than having to try and change music and that sort of thing. But when I go on long drives, particularly, I like to have a wide variety. Like at the moment, it's a mix of country, 80s, 90s, now, dance. Good mix of everything, really. All right. So with that now done, I'm going to take the darkest purple shade in this palette. And I'm just going to pop that on my outer eye, uh, on the outer corner of my eye and into the crease. Just on a smaller, 
well, it's not really a smaller, but a, a tighter blender. Now, there's more of a grey purple here as well. I think I'm going to pop that on a small paddle. I'll be back once I found the brush. Back. So I'm just going to go in with that darker purple just on a smaller paddle and just deepen that outer corner again. Okay, so that's my crease cut. <clears throat> I figure I've already got a video up where I go through how I cut my crease and I don't think there's much value in walking you guys through how to do it again, but I'll link down below the video to where I do the cut crease. If you do want to see another video on that and more explanation, um, let me know. I'd be, be happy to go through it again. Um, okay, so that being said, I'm now going to go in with the purple up in the top right from the Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, just on a small paddle. I'm just going to start putting that just in the center of the lid. So now with that one down, I'm going to go in now with another Juvia's Place palette, the Masquerade palette, um, and I'm going to go in with Giza, which is just a really pretty champagne shimmer. brush again. Like I said, one of these days I will be organized. <laughs> but it ain't happening today, Maury.
Okay, I think that is pretty much where I want the ass. What I am gonna do is take a powder. I'm just coming under the eyes. Better. All right, so I am going to quickly go and do my brows, attempt a wing. I feel like I'm probably tempting fate with that. Um, and I will be back shortly. So... I don't know what just happened. <laughs> um, my eyeliner worked. For the first time in a very long time. And the lashes went on right for the first time, or went on right the first time. There's something coming for me. <laughs> that doesn't happen to me. My, my hands twitch too much for that to happen. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> um, all right. So everything else I've gone and done quickly off camera. Um, like I said, lashes. First time. Unheard of. Um, eyeliner. Yay. <laughs> um, I went in with the... Mellow Cosmetics again, Stardust Glow Palette for blush. I used Delta Bronzer. I used Dawn and the highlighter. I went in with Star. It's a really pretty highlighter, and I applied it like I said in the last video with a um, looser brush, a uh, Mac One Three Seven, and it still came in quite quite bright which is which is nice but it means it's just not going to be quite as subtle a glow um if you're like trying to do bridal or something like that it might be a little bit too much but that being said I'm now going to go in with Mellow Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Ibiza. Um, this is it's quite a um, pale, pale neutral. Um, I feel like it's probably I feel like it's probably not going to be too light on me. So let's give it a go.
I really like that shade. I really like that shade. Like, it's the perfect cool tone, um, nude coral. And it's, it's pale, but it's not too pale. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't end up looking like Jizzly, which I'm happy about. Okay. That is that. Finished look. Done. Dusted. I'm still astounded by the lashes and the liner. That never happens. Literally never happens. I'm still perplexed by that. Um, really happy with this eye look. I think it's really, really pretty, really fun. Um, a good night out type look. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the, the geezer in the corner and looking at the old man in the corner. Um, and it's a really pretty bright color for the inner corner. Um, and all in all, I'm really happy with it. And Ibiza. Mm. I really like that color. I've said it. I, I'm going to continue to say it. I'm really happy with this color. Really happy. It's like, if you want a gray tone that's not a gray tone, if that makes sense at all, <laughs> I feel like this one would be a good, a, a good color because it's not it is, it is corally, it is slightly orangey in person, touch, 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 touch orange, but it also feels kind of grey toned to it. Um, and if you put a gloss over the top of it, it'd be really pretty, but I don't have a gloss or a topper, which is something I'm going to need to rectify. Um, otherwise, thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to comment down below. Is this something that you think you would wear? What do you think of the shade Ibiza? If you want it, want it on that note, I'll leave a link down below to Mellow Cosmetics website. And if you want to get this or any of their other products, use code Mellow15 at checkout for 15% off. Um, otherwise, thanks very much, guys. Have a good week. Stay safe. Bye.